Nabal, if you remember, we have um, posted acquisitions for some assets in the previous year. And well, actually, these assets, we have been using them uh, and the, just giving service for a company code for some months now, like all the, the past year and some months of this year, let's say. And it might happen that we now want to sell them. Why? This is just because uh, maybe they are getting obsolete, maybe the technology is not what we want anymore. And we can just still sell this asset uh, to one, um, maybe someone from the competition or just anyone who's interested. And uh, most of the times, because it's uh, still working, uh, well, we will get some money back. And we can use that money maybe to purchase a new uh, new technology, new, new version of this product. Uh, and, well, it's something very common. In this uh, kind of a scenario, we uh, will retire the asset, but with uh, revenue. So um, we want to show that, of course, right now. So let's go to operational processing. And we will post a retirement of an asset, just integrated with the account receivable, with the customer known. So, well, um, the sale for this will be the first day uh, of next month. So, we can just select that. Also for the posting date. The document type is already correct, so we just need to enter now the ID of our company code and well the currency so of course if we scroll down we have the detail for the uh, the first fields for the first line item and well uh, we need to set up the account for the, the, the customer we have the correct posting key so let's just enter the ID for our customer so well uh, this is the customer that is just buying from us the asset. Now, let's just um, continue with enter. And of course, this message about like the future date, just some days in the future, uh, is just a warning, but it's fine. So we can just press again, enter. And now, well, we need to enter the amount that we're getting back from yes, from selling this, which is uh, 11,000 euros. And we will select the calculate tax uh, checkbox with a tax code, which the ID is like 10, which is 10% output tax. Perfect. Now we need to start entering just the details of the sale uh, item, just the, the, the for the revenues, which uh, for this we need not to use a uh, posting key for fixed assets which for example is like 70 or 75 or some uh, just a uh, posting key for assets actually we just need to use a uh, posting key 50 which is just a create entry in a general ledger account because we will uh, use the um the account for a uh, revenue from the sale of a fixed asset and the id for that one it's 7002 Four times zero, that is our revenue account. And again, it's actually it's a, a an account that is specifically set up for well revenues when we sell assets. So, well, that is correct, and we can just continue with enter. Now, well, let's enter for this second item in this scenario. Well, the amount. And the most important thing here is that um, we need uh, or and we have this additional field in this kind of uh, application um, that it's called as a retirement this is a checkbox and we need to, to just click on that one just select that one because when we press enter after we have selected that uh, the system will just show this pop-up in which well uh, we can use this pop-up to enter the details of the asset that we are just retiring that we are selling so well of course uh, let's enter the id for for this asset which is one of the machines the transaction type is already um, set up here for us and we just need to enter the asset value date which we remember is the first day of the next month and 
we also want this it's just a sale we're selling the the full asset so it's a complete retirement so well the transaction type for uh, the retirement with uh, revenues is correct so we can just continue and actually well that's pretty much it we have everything that we need just to post uh, this so let's do it and as you can see now uh, well we have the success message with the document number that the uh, app just created uh, to post this a uh, retirement with a uh, revenue so i'm just going to close now uh, the app to get back to the fury launchpad and with this we are just finishing the lesson but of course we invite you to keep learning with the next ones